the future of Roger Goodell in that position as commissioner, that you've now gone after Kraft and Jerry Jones. I know it, I know this is about business and running a league, but you still serve these owners. Could this come back and haunt Goodell and his future uh, with, with Jerry holding a grudge or Robert Kraft doing as well? Well, I, I detailed in my column that, you know, maybe three, four years ago, I'd say the five most powerful owners who were absolutely rock solid, unequivocal in his corner, Jerry Jones, Robert Kraft, Dan Rooney, Jerry Richardson, John Mara. So you look at all those guys and you say, okay, so uh, Dan Rooney has died. Uh, Jerry Richardson is of declining impact uh, in part because of health and because he's in his 80s. Uh, and 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 uh, John Mara is 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 the exact same, still in his corner. Um, but beyond that, look what he's done the last two years. Jerry Jones has got to be seething. I agree with Adam Schefter, and uh, and and obviously Robert Kraft is uh, both for his fan base and himself uh, still thinks that uh, that Goodell had a severe overreach in the Tom Brady sanction. So I agree with you. I mean. It's just my gut feeling, Dan. But to me, uh, I, you know, I've always thought, okay, Goodell will get over this, get over that. But quite honestly, I don't know what he's, what his future is, because I think a lot of that is going to depend on what he wants to do. Can he solidify his power base? Okay, that's a very, very big question. And with the sort of the What's happened the last two or three years, I, I have some questions about whether he's going to have the same sort of power base that he's had traditionally in the last few years in the NFL. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.